Who will be hired to lead Newport News Public Schools? We may need to take months before we know the answer to this, but the division says it's all part of a plan. And this month, the job posting for superintendent opened up and board members outlined the qualifications. Angelique Arentalk is live in studio now after reading through the list. Angelique, what are their priorities? Yeah, to name a few, the board requires someone who's earned a doctorate as well as experience as a principal. But their list also brings attention to the words school safety twice. This vacancy is open after all, partly from the fallout of the shooting at Richneck Elementary on January 6th. This week in an ABC exclusive, the mother of the boy accused of pulling the trigger at Richneck Elementary publicly spoke about the shooting for the first time. I ran out in PJs to the school. 25-year-old Deja Taylor says her son, who's now in her grandfather's custody, doesn't talk about it. We play, we, you know, do Uno, draw pictures. Like nothing of the incident. Newport News police say the six-year-old used Deja Taylor's handgun to shoot and injure first grade teacher Abigail Zwerner. I am, as a parent, obviously willing to take responsibility for him. She now faces charges of child neglect and recklessly leaving a loaded firearm that endangers a child. The fallout from January 6th also includes a lawsuit from Zwerner against school officials and the firing of Superintendent Dr. George Parker III. School board Board members made that call more than three months ago. The person to permanently take his place hasn't yet been chosen. But president of the local teachers union, Dr. James Graves, says he's pleased with the pacing. We own a motion. We, we're going moving forward and uh, we believe everything's going to be fine. Graves tells me he prefers a candidate who has been a teacher. When you are a teacher for so many years, it seems like you, you never forget that. He also considers the following among his top priorities. Believe it or not, um, safety and approachability and being mobile. The deadline for applications is on May 26th. Afterward, a school division spokesperson says they'll release how many they received. In the meantime, Dr. Michelle Mitchell has served on an interim basis in the position. Back to you. Angelique, thanks. School board members plan to interview candidates all summer long. They should announce their pick in August or September.